I'm Stacy. Welcome to the kitchen of my old Kentucky home. Today on Bourbon and Biscuits, we're going to be making two recipes that are perfect for a fall tailgate, whether that be football or heading off to the races. We'll be making a bourbon and bacon and cheese ball, and Jessica will be making a pumpkin spice cold brew with, of course, more bourbon. Let's get started. For our bourbon and bacon cheese ball, we will need one cup of shredded cheddar, one cup of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of dehydrated onion, a quarter cup of Kentucky bourbon, a half a cup of chopped pecans, one teaspoon of Frank's hot sauce, one teaspoon of Worcestershire, three slices of bacon, a quarter teaspoon of bourbon smoked sea salt, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and a pinch of paprika. So a cheese ball is perfect for an outdoor tailgate or even in an indoor. Uh, one, it's a very simple thing to do. It, there's a lot of ingredients, but basically we're just going to mix and roll. I like this particular recipe, not just because it has Kentucky bourbon and bacon in it, but because it has no mayonnaise base to it at all. So it's really uh, something that you can leave out for quite some time and not worry about harming your guests. So the first thing I like to do in making this particular recipe is go on and take the bacon and put it in the food processor and go on and get it crumbly. You could do all this by hand, but I like to just give it a quick head start in the food processor. It makes it a little easier. Okay, just give that a whirl. All right, those are nice little bacon bit sizes now. We'll just add the, all the rest of our ingredients. You're, we're basically adding everything but the pecans that we will then roll the cheese ball in, which is entirely optional, by the way. If you have someone in your family or friend circle with a nut allergy, you can just leave this unrolled. A little butter. Our bourbon. Used wild turkey today. You can use hot sauce of any kind. Um, used to use Tabasco a lot. I really like the flavor and uh, depth that Frank's uses though. You can also use, instead of the dehydrated onion, you can use onion powder or just uh, minced onion. Just gives it a little texture. Today we're using a special uh, salt. You can just use regular salt, but this is actually a bourbon smoked sea salt. One of those companies locally that we love at Bourbon Barrel Foods. And finally, just a pinch of paprika. And we're just gonna let this blend together in the food processor. Sometimes you have to stop it, make sure everything's getting all down in there. All right, that looks great. Now, a little bit of the tricky part. I saved just a little bit of the butter and I like to get it all on my hands. Just makes the rolling of it a little easier. Take out the blade. And we're simply going to take out the mix and get it in our hands and roll it into a ball. Then I'm gonna put the ball in the freezer for just about 10 minutes so it's a little easier to work with when I'm gonna roll the pecans in it. Or you can literally let it stop at this point and just put it in the refrigerator overnight. So, doesn't have to be perfect, especially the pecan rolling will hide a lot of sins. So I'm just gonna leave that in the middle. I'm gonna put this in the freezer for, like I said, just about 10 minutes. So our cheese ball has formed up uh, pretty nicely, enough to roll in the pecans. And as I said, you can just leave it at this point if you don't wanna do pecans, or you could also uh, do chopped parsley uh, if somebody had a, a nut allergy. So we're gonna take our chopped pecans. We're just gonna spread them out on a plate. Take our cheese ball. Get them in there. And then just roll it around. use all of this and then I've got a serving plate that I'm going to use we're just going to set it right on there and 
I will add our crackers and pretzels and maybe even some cut up vegetables. And while I'm doing that, Jessica is gonna make us a pumpkin spice cold brew with bourbon. During fall, we all know it is pumpkin spice everything. So we're going to upgrade the fat a little bit by adding Kentucky bourbon, of course. Today we're gonna make a pumpkin spice Kentucky cold brews. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some store-bought cold brew, Kentucky bourbon, of course, heavy whipping cream, and then we're gonna make our own pumpkin spice syrup. So we're gonna use three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, a cup of granulated white sugar, a quarter cup of pureed pumpkin from a can, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this over to the stove and get it simmering with one and a half cups of water to make our syrup. So we're essentially making um, what they pump into your pumpkin spice latte at any coffee shop that you go to during the fall. So we're just making kind of a thick and rich pumpkin flavored syrup right now. It's a little different than the simple syrups we normally make for cocktails because it's gonna be heavier on the sugar and flavor. We wanna bring all this to a simmer so that the sugar completely dissolves, but we don't want to uh, boil the pumpkin. All right, now that we've had this um, simmering nicely for about five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take it off the heat, like I said, before we get to a heavy boil, and we're gonna go ahead and strain this into a pitcher. So we're gonna go ahead and strain this so that we make sure that we don't get any of the pumpkin pieces in there. Um, obviously, I made a lot more than we're gonna need for this cocktail, but this syrup will last in your fridge for a month. So you can make lattes, more cocktails, so now that we've got our pumpkin spice syrup cooling off, we're gonna go ahead and just lightly whip some heavy cream. This is gonna be the topping of our coffee drink. I'll try to make enough here for at least two of us. Okay, that looks about a nice texture for our topping here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add our pumpkin spice syrup into the cream before we fill the cocktail right into the glass. So this is gonna be a little bit to taste. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons here. We want it to be sweet and pumpkin-y enough that the flavor really comes through in the cream and that kind of will drip down into our glass. It's perfect. You can go a little sweeter if you like, or a little less, but that is good to me. So now we're just going to build this right into our cup. We're gonna do an ounce of bourbon. We're using Kentucky Peerless today. And they've got their distillery right on Main Street, downtown Louisville. And then we're going to fill this the rest of the way with our cold brew, uh, leaving room for our whipped topping, of course. This syrup smells so good. It already feels like fall in here. All right, and then I'm just going to pour some of this right on top of this uh, cold brew and bourbon mixture. I'll try to kind of float it on the top a little, but we want it to kind of get all mixed in. All right, well, I think that is just about perfect. This is gonna be our pumpkin spice Kentucky cold brew. Can I just say wow on this one? I mean, you were setting me up for the Starbucks <laughs> taste, right? Mm -hmm. This blows that out of the water. This is so good. Thank you. Honestly, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Can't you just picture yourself drinking this with, during like an early tailgate or if you're out at a football game or going to the Keeneland racetrack? Just kind of a pick-me-up, but a little bourbon and very fall flavor. All of it. All of it and more. Yeah. Like we said off camera, be a huge hit at the sorority house, Absolutely, right? yeah. Pumpkin spice. That's right. <laughs> well, on the cheese ball, I wish I had more of an origin story. You yeah. know, we usually have something that was so Kentucky, so Louisville sure. for so long. Doesn't really. Uh, first cookbooks, I started seeing it maybe like the 70s, mm -hmm. 80s. 
think it is a pretty southern thing. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe everywhere, but so lends itself to the, the football culture and the tailgating Absolutely, culture. Yeah. And I can see putting this out at one of those Keeneland tailgates we would have done when I was at UK. I think you can even take food into Churchill. Yeah, you can it's bring really yourself have, a nice picnic. Right, mm -hmm. doesn't have quite the tailgating culture, but I think you can take uh, things in. Yeah. So. Another great episode. Well, just goes to prove that adding bourbon makes anything a little bit better. Well, cheers to that. And happy fall, y'all. We'll see you next time on Bourbon and Biscuits.